Greeting comrades, I hope you all doing well. Best wishes for this 2020-24 year. Let it be better than last one. Anyway, straight to the point. I want to bring your attention for a remaster release of Blade and Soul. They restarting the game and they releasing the classic upgraded version of the game. Hmm. Now you are probably asking myself, Wizard, are you crazy? Why would you care about 2012 Kumer Pay to Win Fury MMO? Glad you ask. There is two main reasons for that. Reason number one, the game has amazing immersive atmosphere and climate of uh, fantasy martial arts. You know, masters, flying swords, all of this uh, wushu shit. They nail it. The music, the stages, the bosses, all clicks in. I really enjoy going through the story quest and exploring the world. Reason number two, this game may have the best combat in MMO ever made. It was amazing. Responsive, deep, complicated, feels good when you press buttons. The combat was S tier. So what will gonna be my recommendation? Play it for Mandon 2, complete the story, do some dungeons and fuck all from this good for second place. But just for the experience, just to experience the climate, the atmosphere and the amazing combat, this is worth it. If it's, if it's worth it of uh, playing long term, hell no. This is gonna be grind fest, pay to win fiesta. Let's now recap the story, what happened to the game over the years and where we are now. Alright, 2012, game was released on Korean Japanese servers. Then, we were waiting for it in EU West for like 2015, 2016. It starts shortly before Black Desert, alright? And the game was already outdated, you know? It was like 3-4 years too late to release it on the Western market, no one fucking cared. And the game later become all about tits and us. And when the game is all about green tits and us, you cannot do make complicated combos on, you know, press all of these buttons. You have one hand in your pants. So they just nerf the combat. They make it like out of combat, like in, on phones <laughs> on or tablet, you know? And then the game died. So now they are bringing the game back. They are remaining in, in Unreal Engine, I don't know which version, upscale textures and they're gonna revamp the game to adding new functions to it. And I still hope that they're gonna keep the original combat in. So I'm gonna let you inform it if it's worth wasting your time. If the original combat is in, if the original story is in, and all the music, all the things we liked, this game is worth to play for 2-3 months. But if they're gonna do, you know, sneak in, easy mode, phone combat, that I'm just gonna say, all right, we need to get the fuck out from this ship because it's gonna sink next week. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Hopefully very soon.